school for that entire two-hour lockdown, Jennifer. I, I hear that. I see what, uh, what those students were saying as we talked to them. As a parent, I would be terrified. So when you got out there, what did you see? What did you hear? What were people telling you? Well, the parents were just so scared. Yeah. And there were about 30 parents outside, right outside the school. And uh, despite it being a really crowded area, the parents, they were just dead silent most of the times. They were just waiting, worrying, trying to also text their children or give them a call. At 9 a.m., this was the scene outside Heritage Middle School. Parents on edge, one saying the minutes felt like hours. It's really, it's really sad and scary. One parent was volunteering at the school and was part of the lockdown. Uh, a parent came into the office and said she thought she saw uh, a male student carrying an axe. And, um, and so I, uh, I had checked in by then and went into the hallway and saw the principal and mentioned to him that he would be needed quickly. For almost two hours, parents didn't know what was going on. Of course, as the door opens, you're not knowing what's on the other side. It, yeah, it gets your adrenaline running a little bit. So They couldn't give us any information, and those were the worst minutes in my life. I had no idea what was going on. As police swarmed the school with large rifles, students at Heritage say they armed themselves with whatever they could find. We started like canning back textbooks and scissors and air spray, <laughs> and so we were well defense, but it was just kind of scary. Students say what happened at Sandy Hook was at the forefront of their minds. Like everybody, I think was expecting the worst of what could happen, so um, just kind of the thought of the shouts and the screams in the hallway and the loud sounds was just kind of the scariest part. And after two frightening hours, thankfully, it was a happy ending for everyone. Just gave her a hug and started crying. No matter how old they are, they're still your baby. When she came in, I was like, ah, oh, mom! So, you know, I just gave her a big hug. Oh, goodness. Yeah, well, it was a happy ending at least, exactly. right? Yeah. And although classes resumed after the lockdown, many parents were so shaken up and sure. so, were the, so were the students. So they ended up just taking their kids home right afterwards. And on the upside, though, a lot of the parents say they still plan on celebrating Valentine's Day with oh, their kids true. and just moving on from the whole incident. And what about for tomorrow? Did any say they're worried about sending their kids to school? Are the kids worried about going? Not a, actually, no, because a lot of the parents were saying that the police did such a great job responding that they're happy to take their kids to school tomorrow and they're, they feel like their kids are very safe.